We are joined now by author Lori McCall, who has a new book out called Sway of the Siren. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Tell us, what is your book about? Well, my book is set on an imaginary island off the coast of Beaufort, South Carolina. It's set in current day, but kind of like Defusky would have been about 50 years ago. So this island is inhabited by about 50 descendants of original slaves who were brought there in the 1800s. And they are currently trying to hold on to their property as property taxes are increasing. And the descendants find the body of a dead white woman in the middle of their sweet potato patch. And they're scared of the implications of that, kind of like Bigger Thomas and Native Son when he realized he had killed a white woman. And as it's being investigated, each chapter is told from a different point of view, and really it's a love story. Mm. Now, who should buy your book? It's intended for adults. Um, anybody who's a Josh Gerrels fan, if you don't know who Josh Gerrels is, you should. He's my favorite singer-songwriter, and he allowed me to use his lyrics to introduce each chapter. So if you're a Josh Gerrels fan, you'll love it. Um, Southern Lit fans, um, people who are interested in Gullah Geechee culture, people who just feel a longing for something more, um, a connection, a place that feels like home, anybody who's kind of lost their way in life and remembering who they are and who they want to be, this book's for you. Mm. How and where can someone buy your book? Well, it goes on sale on December the 1st through my website, www.swayofthesiren.com. It's also for sale through Amazon and through Barnes & Noble online. Perfect. Now, your book has a special purpose and a cause behind it that's, that it's supporting. How will your sales contribute to the Pan-African Family Empowerment Network? Well, I teamed up with PAFN, Pan-African Family Empowerment Network, to give them 40% from our book launch, which was um, November 21st, all the way through December 31st of 2015, they received 40% of the proceeds. So currently, they've already, like I'll write another check today for what I sold in the upstate, we're at about $700 to them already, and after the new year, they will continue to receive 10% for the life of the book as long as it's self-published. Wonderful. Real quickly, and this is a tough question though, obviously you're not of African descent. How were you able to write about the Gullah Geechee culture in such an authentic way? That's a great question. Um, I had a mentor, his name is Elijah Hayward Jr., and he's an author and Gullah native, and I actually brought a copy of his book, also an amazing book, Stories and Poems of a Gullah Native. And Elijah really took me under his wing and he mentored me through this process. Um, he started reading the book when I was about halfway through it and I had a pretty good grasp on the culture of living here and having, you know, teaching um, Gullah kids and working with people who are Gullah. But he did mentor me through it and he took me under his wing and taught me about business and life and Gullah culture and faith. Wonderful. Well, Lori, congratulations again, and thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it.